Hi there, my name is Renee and in this video I'm going to be talking about how the Tanda and Zero payroll integration works. So the first important thing to note is that Zero is a cloud-based payroll system and that basically means that Tanda and Zero can sort of sync information and I guess talk to each other automatically. That's important because when you go to export your timesheets, instead of downloading a file and uploading it into your payroll system like you would have to do with a desktop system, you just click a button and the information will flow through automatically. No file upload, no download, nothing like that. The second thing to note is before that that, that can happen uh, successfully, there's just a few things that you need to make sure that you do in Tanda so that the integration is set up correctly. So we'll go through the, the, what those things are in detail in the upcoming steps and videos, but it's just important to note that it's not just a matter of clicking the button straight away. You just have to complete a few steps first. Lastly, once you do that and then do get to the stage of exporting your timesheets, um, what that will ha what will happen in Zero is that it'll create those timesheets and it will also create a pay run. So, just a quick overview of how your integration actually works. The first thing, there's sort of two ways that you could be set up. The first is you're using a tender managed award template and you've enabled that on your account. So, if that's the case, um, here's how your integration will actually sort of work. So in Tanda, things will look like this. You'll, you'll have a set of uh, rules and allowances that have been sort of created in your account and are applying on timesheets based on that template. You'll also have leave types uh, in Tanda. Now, in terms of the way that the information flows through to zero, if you're on a managed award template, there's a button that sort of, I guess, syncs all the template information into your zero account automatically. So it'll create the relevant rules. So that sort of looks like this. The first thing we do is we update base rates on employees to match those of the award. Then we'll sort of create the what's called pay items in Xero. Um, they're called, I guess, award rules in Tanda. Those will get created um, as well as allowances. Now, in terms of leave types, you've, you probably already have leave types created in your Xero account. And for that reason, we won't actually go ahead and automatically create them based on what's in Tanda. Instead, it sort of happens the other way. So you kind of come back into Tanda, you go into the leave types that you've sort of created, and then you can link them with um, the same leave type that exists in Zero. The other way that it could be set up is when you're not on a Tanda managed award. So um, you might be on a completely custom setup, so custom rules that you've built in yourself, um, or maybe you're on an award template, plus you have a few custom allowances or a few custom award rules. This next section applies to you. So unlike the, the sort of the previous flow that I went through, if you're on a custom setup, you'll sort of need to make sure that you link everything in Tanda with pay items from zero. So nothing will get sort of pushed across or created automatically on a custom setup. So in Tanda, um, you'll sort of go through each of your award rules, each of your allowances and link them with relevant pay items that have sort of been synced across from your zero account. Again, we'll sort of talk through how this works in the um, upcoming steps, so don't worry too much about it. But that's sort of um, just an important thing to note. And again, obviously, leave, leave types is the same there. All right, so the fields on your general step. So general step will look something like this. Um, you know, honestly, after you've kind of synced or, I guess, linked your zero account with Tanda, there's not too much you need to really worry about here. Um, the applies to fields are important if you're going to be paying staff out of two different payroll integrations. Um, so I won't cover that here. The tracking categories are so obviously um, if you want to sort of track wage costs and attribute them in uh, zero reporting. Um, the last field down the bottom there, which is more, excuse me, automatically import staff profiles. Just make sure that's ticked. That means that any staff that you add in zero will come across to Tanda. Um, and that's sort of the way that we recommend doing things. Um, but aside from that, just have a look through those fields, make sure things look correct, and you'll be good to go.